Welcome to Cool Clubs Reviews. Today we have got a Cobra product, the Forge Tech. Um, I'm not too well versed on this, so no, no, I'm not really in. either. Um, obviously, we've been known about Cobra forever, and uh, you know, we haven't carried a bunch of Cobra stuff in the in the last few years just because of demand, and we haven't actually tested them all until uh, starting this uh, this year. But uh, this is the Forge Tech, um, you know, relatively traditional looking club. You know, it's got a you know relatively thin top line, and the sole's not super wide. Um, so it's kind of in the middle of the ballpark as far as size and stuff, uh, similar to like a 790 Apex category. Super clean. Yeah, really clean looking. Right. Um, did a nice job with it. I like actually that is on the back. You can see where they're trying to get the mass right in the in the center there. Yeah, it's kind of a triangular shape on the back a little bit, which you've seen in other clubs for a million years, right? But it kind of looks yeah. like it, you know, more mass behind the center. And that gives us a heads up as to the technology. Yeah, that's it's going another on one there, of these right? foam filled things, but so, uh, they do work. That's for sure. And I think this is where everyone's going to get really excited is when we check out the numbers on them. So, again, this made it to our players category. It gets both tests. Right. Um, how straight is that graph on the Yeah, on the no, it's super straight on the mishits. I mean, they're all straight in, in a line, basically. So, yeah. You know. That's incredible. Yep. Uh, not only that, I mean, and then this maybe a downside, maybe an upside. It's really, really long. Like, it's it really is really long. long. Uh, 165 yards, uh, you know, 80 miles an hour for a seven iron is is seriously long. And you know, you got a got a 4.4 on the on the overall performance rating. You know, which looks at distance. Obviously, that helped it some, but it's relatively forgiving too. And um, obviously, again, the, 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 all the miss hits are all linear, right? So they're all going straight, no matter where you hit on the face, which is nice. And even when you look at that, it's the it's the low heel that drops off. Everything else hits the yes. green, and doesn't just hit the green; it hits way up the green. Like this thing's moving, so you know, low toe is still hitting a decent portion of that of oh, that yeah, surface. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, then going into the the tour performance, so you could argue that maybe it's a little better under the uh, the center strike characteristics. Look at the heel, toe, and center all kind of bunched there. So yeah, exactly. if, if you're a good striker of the golf ball in terms of you know up the face, if you're catching it across, you're going to be in good shape, always knowing where that ball's landing out at. Right. Um, 255 spin launch right in the middle. Yeah, it is in the middle, which is it's kind of surprising of the distance it's got, right? So to hit it that far and still have some spin is, is pretty impressive. But that does show up a little in stopping power. Yeah, yeah, obviously you can get hurt a little bit there. So, um, you know, if you really got uh, trouble stopping greens and stuff, this, this may not be the best club in the world for that. But. So we've started adding Cobra to our matrix this year. Right. We added the driver and the fairways, um, yep. the tech hybrid. We've added a king forged iron. Yep. I think we maybe added a couple more here. Yeah, uh, we've we'll got another one reviewing in a minute that was kind of impressive as well. So, <laughs> yeah. so who do you think this Cobra Forge text for? Oh, this fits a pretty big, broad range, to be honest. You know, it's not bad on even on the tour rating. It's four point five. So you know, you could go you know high single digit, you know, eights or sevens or something looking for distance um, up to probably eighteen handicap, no problem. Yeah, I think like you say, it really is looking for distance. Like this yes. thing is a killer for distance. Like it that is. that's its selling point. But it's not bad looking, and it looks <laughs> pretty traditional. No. So. No. Um, you know, pretty big range. And going into know, knowing their model, and we'll do a whole uh, podcast on all of their models, but it looks like you can blend these pretty well. Yeah, that's the thing with these. So there's a whole bunch of these all look kind of similar. So you can definitely mix and match these. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Thanks, Mark.